Sure. The man was a legendary private eye who weighed in on cases from Michael Jackson to O.J. Simpson. Now the daughter of the late Ernie Rizzo is doing some detective work of her own. He was a flamboyant private eye from Chicago who made national headlines. She's the daughter now following in his footsteps. For the first time, Tracy Rizzo is talking about her late father, Ernie Rizzo, and her new plans to pursue the detective work that she says is in her blood. Larry Yellen with the story, only on Fox. Yes, I have, I have big shoes to fill. Not just shoes, but gum shoes. The daughter of famed private investigator Ernie Rizzo is following in her father's footsteps. Attorney Tracy Rizzo is expanding her divorce practice to include work as a private eye. I've had my license and I used to help my dad out once in a while back when I was in college, but I just decided to start an agency since he passed away. Ernie died almost a year and a half ago from heart problems at the age of 64. He was internationally recognized as a colorful, outspoken advocate for his clients ripping into megastars like Michael Jackson. I think Michael Jackson better get the chip off his shoulder and realize he's going to jail someday. And defending clients who he believed were wrongly convicted, like Richard Bailey, in connection with the disappearance of millionaire candy heiress Helen Brock. Bailey's, uh, you know, not the greatest guy in the world. He's a gigolo. But he had nothing to do with killing Ellen Brock. Just my federal. Your federal bars. Tracy's been practicing law for 12 years, the first six with divorce attorney Enrico Mirabelli, who had hired her father when he needed a private eye. She'll never be as flamboyant. I think she's a little more restrained, uh, but you shouldn't let that fool you. She's very good at what she does. Handling investigations will come easy, Tracy says, because unofficially she's been doing detective work since she was a youngster, when Ernie had her making phone calls on cases while he listened in. My dad would be on the other extension going, keep talking to her, keep talking to her, and he would be trying to figure out who it was on the phone. Tracy admits she won't be performing the crime-solving stunts that often garnered so much attention for her dad. For example, there was the time he used 30 pounds of fresh lamb to disprove the prosecution's theory in the Riley Fox murder case. 99.9% .9 of that type of work was created in my dad's mind, and I don't think anyone could duplicate that. Ernie also assumed numerous disguises, for example, posing as an Arab sheik atop a camel in the Middle East. As a lawyer, you're probably not allowed to pose as an Arab sheik. <laughs> no, and I don't look good on a camel either. I know that picture, that famous photo of my father. No, I don't think I could do that, not with a skirt on anyway. Above all, Ernie never shied away from the cameras. He was involved in uh, every marquee case that we could possibly, uh, you could possibly think of. And Tracy says she won't either. If Larry King or Geraldo want me there, I will be there. And you can bet her dad will be watching. Larry Ellen, Fox News, Chicago. Tracy Rizzo emphasizes she is not giving up her law practice. She expects that the detective agency will just complement her work as a divorce lawyer.